Hello, good morning. I'm Francisco Lossin. I'm a member of the left bloc in Portugal. I was a member of the parliament. Uh, and I came here because um, uh, Rosa Luxemburg Foundation wanted to have um, a short summary of the situation of different countries um, in relation to the pandemics. Well, um, just uh, two, po two brief points. Um, Portugal is now one month after the first death. Um, so by a combination of luck, of a certain luck, luck uh, time uh, was was important and uh, the, the epidemics began uh, later in portugal than in spain and in italy so it provided some time for reflection and for some measures confinement was decided very early and uh, the curve of the uh, of the death toll is uh, very low and perhaps the peak was already attained uh, one week ago. Um, so now the increase of the new numbers of infected and death um, are below 10%, meaning that by the end of the April or beginning of May, uh, we may have a very a much better uh, context. Uh, now uh, the, um, there are two important points points for the for the international international discussion one has has been much highlighted is the fact that the portuguese government decided to um, accept uh, uh, not only health treatment which is of course universal uh, in portugal to everyone even if it is uh, someone illegal uh, in in the country while well, the kid can go to the to the school even if the the parents are uh, not legal uh, migrants uh, but it decided to extend social protection, so benefits of unemployment and other social benefits to all those who um, uh, try to obtain uh, official documents, although they did not have until now, um, they did not get the, the official recognition. So all those uh, who try to get documents, in spite of the fact that they are not still uh, not accepted until the moment, can have this sort of protection. That's uh, an important difference as compared to uh, other countries and to other uh, xenophobic uh, discourses. Uh, the second point is the, the social impact. Uh, emer emergence was uh, decided with a number of very important measures, well, closing schools, closing business, um, extending social protection in in new uh, in new ways although imposing for some cases a reduction of the wage the left bloc proposed a full wage payment for all the workers and presented a, a detailed economic plan for that but that's not uh, what's being uh, what's being applied uh, for um, authoritarian ideological reasons the government also included um, uh, for, uh, forbidding the, the the strikes in the health and essential public services, uh, although of course there is no strike in health. On the contrary, the health the nurses and doctors are at the front line of the fight against the pandemic and are um, fighting very, very bravely. So it's it's uh, totally uh, unacceptable and uh, and uh, and wrong. Uh, other measures, on the contrary, are very important because it uh, allows the government to uh, confiscate uh, uh, factories, firms, production services, laboratories, uh, and even hospitals um, in the private sector if they are required, uh, if they are necessary. It has already been the case of some hotels for, um, uh, for different people to, to, to live there during the pandemics. Uh, now, the global effect, we don't know. It will be a recession. Unicredit, uh, an Italian bank, uh, um, made a computation on a projection on for different countries and for Portugal and Italy and um, Greece a little more, um, ex expects a fall of the GDP of 15%. We'll see if that's the case or not. Anyway, there will be a huge deficit uh, due to the budget effort, uh, Portugal was uh, had already a balanced budget, uh, even a superavit in the in the last year, unlike uh, Spain and and and, Fran and and Italy. But of course, that's not that's not enough, and we need to have uh, a new economic policy designed to uh, provide jobs and to guarantee uh, investment. So there will be uh, um, a difficult fight against austerity in the next years, depending on the European solution 
elections, but we don't uh, trust they will be uh, favorable for uh, a plan for uh, investment uh, or uh, jobs, which is, of course, the essential. <laughs>